Welcome back to Cade Maiden. We are taking this yoga ball and turning it into a fountain head using concrete and other things. But you wanna take your yoga ball and overfill it with a little bit too much air so that you have a strong base and then you're gonna cut up a lot of cotton fabric. In my case, I'm using remnants of canvas drop cloth and I'm just cutting it up into sections and soaking it in water. We're putting it in water and soaking that up. And then we're using Portland cement and acrylic bonding adhesive and water to make a slurry. A slurry is a wet mix of cement. And with that wet mix that we mix up thoroughly, we are going to be putting our pieces of dampened cotton in this and then layering it on top of the yoga ball. Amazingly, this adhered to the yoga ball like nobody's business. It was fun, it was easy. We got three quarters of the way through before we had to turn it over. And when we turned it over, we wanted to make a strong base for our fountain plumbing to go through. So I used the bottom end. You can really use any circular structure, but we used the bottom end of a lampshade to then wrap parts of the canvas that had been soaked in the slurry and then adhered to the other parts of the sphere that had been completed before. Once our bonding surface is completed, we wanna create a concrete mixture, which is basically our cement mixtures that is a little bit more dense, like a Play-Doh and including sand. And that is the particulate that we're gonna to use to build the structural surface. And the structural surface is gonna hold our sphere together for generations. And by generations, I mean, you are gonna be one of spending generations holding your spray bottle, your fine mist spray to keep that surface nice and wet and moist so that as you're adding on your concrete mixture, it's bonding to the subsurface that you've made. About a year ago, I did make a concrete garden sphere, I was calling them spheres back then, video, and I did take a lot of comments from the comment section of that video and applied it to making this a concrete uh, fountain orb fountain. But I truly appreciate the feedback and I also encourage anybody who's seeing this video now to be in the artist you are. Take what I'm doing in this video and just do what you want. You are the artist of your garden sphere and I think you should use all of the information and choose the direction you want to go. So basically up until this point, you have created a concrete garden orb or a concrete orb. And at this point, I am using a little bit of grout and then the bonding adhesive and some water to create a sealant to go on the outside and inside of the orb to make it into a fountain. This will protect it from the water that it will be exposed to being a fountain. And then I ended up using a sanded grout to do one final layer the same way with some acrylic bonding adhesive as well as water. And then sanded grout to create a little bit more of a textured outer surface. And the more layers you put on, the merrier because it's just gonna protect it from degrading from the elements and then the fact that it's a fountain. After finding the center of the top of the orb, I used a masonry bit or two to create the hole for what will be the fountain head. And after completing drilling the hole, I used a copper fitting that would just be used for plumbing to fit into the top so that I could affix a hose to the fountain pump. This project is fairly easy as long as you're okay with process and you don't mind a bit of waiting because every layer you have to wait approximately 12 to 24 hours for that to fully cure before you're adding on the next layer. So there's a lot of patience involved, but I really enjoyed the entire process of making this and I feel like it's very reasonable to commit yourself to the fact that whatever is possible that could happen could happen. But you just put it together and you see if it works. And if it works for a while, the, the project is pretty low stakes. I hope that you can take part of this video and apply it to your concrete garden or otherwise orb building. And I fully empower you to do it the way that you're gonna do it. And now that we've come full circle on this orb project, I hope to see you again soon here on Cade Made. Thank you so much for watching and take good care of yourself. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Good night. Ha, 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 ha.